Melburnians were so keen that they hit the bars right as the clock struck midnight and who could blame them? It has been a long time between drinks, more than 100 days in fact. Now these restrictions were lifted as of 11.59pm last night. Then as the clock struck midnight, the champagne was flowing, the cocktails were being mixed and yes, pints of beer were being pulled for the lucky few who were able to score a table at some of these venues that were opening as early as possible, not wasting a minute after losing uh, uh, lots of business really over the past few months. Here's a snapshot of the celebrations last night. Feels like <laughs> New Year's Eve or something like that. Really excited to be out and about again. Opened the bookings up, had over 2,000 bookings in the first two or three hours, so we're booked out weeks in advance. Just get out now, you can enjoy it, you know? We've all, we've all been through it. Here's to you, Dan. So a toast to the Premier there from some very happy punters. Laura, of course, as of today, hospitality reopens for 20 diners indoors and 50 outdoors, subject to spacing requirements, of course. Then, if all goes to plan and Victoria continues to record low or even no cases as we've seen over the past two days, then that will be eased further to 40 diners indoors and 70 outdoors, something the industry is very keen to see happen as soon as possible. And the next item on their wish list after that is an easing to the spacing requirements down from uh, one person per four square metres to one person per two square metres. I'm here in Chapel Street, one of Melbourne's premier food and drink districts. It has been struggling immensely over the past few months, but this afternoon, restaurants and pubs will throw their doors open. Safe to say, if you don't have a booking yet, you might be in a bit of trouble for at least the next week. Mm -hmm. Cafes, though, will be the first thing on the menu this morning. Uh, Melburnians will finally get to sit down and drink their artisan coffee, and you'd have to say, Laura, the amount <laughs> of smashed avo that will be consumed over the next few days will surely break a few records.